Bartlett police are investigating a deadly domestic shooting. Investigators say a woman died after being shot by her boyfriend. A Memphis man is wanted by the Federal Bureau of Investigation for aggravated robbery and attempted first degree murder. The man who shot his friend in the head during a game at a Midtown cafe won't spend any time in jail. Memphis police say a Midtown woman made up a story about being carjacked to cover up the fact she crashed her car. Learned that Shelby County deputy is now on paid leave after an incident at the Peabody Hotel. Classes resume Monday for Shelby County schools, but while students learn, district officials will be planning a move into a new headquarters. Also developing, police say two car burglars use a taxi to haul away their loot in downtown Memphis. Memphis police say a woman stole $220,000 in cash from her employer. Shocking dash cam of a traffic stop gone wrong. Video just released of the November incident shows Pennsylvania state troopers tasing a suspect who was resisting arrest. Now I'm hoping that the rain is gonna keep the bugs away just for a little <laughs> bit. So I, I'm really looking forward to the rain, you know, cause the bees and the wasps, they won't be outside if it's raining, so. I think it'll do that for you, Brandon. One local elementary school student does not let his disability stop him from participating in a sport he enjoyed. I traveled to Ricketsville Elementary to find out how Dylan Black overcomes his challenges. Ricketsville Elementary student Dylan Black discovered archery as his extracurricular activity despite some challenges. The teacher had handed out a flyer that said archery tryouts tonight at 5.30 at the school. And so I'm just like, hmm, this sounds interesting. interesting. Because Dylan was born without arms, archery may seem impossible for him. The archery team coach Wayne Glenn wanted to make sure Dylan could compete in this challenging sport. I put it together because I wanted to see the young man shoot, and that, that's what it boiled down to for me, uh, to see him shoot. So, uh, you know, all the prototypes I did out of my pocket, it, I didn't worry about it. It, it didn't matter to me. So uh, that's, that's what it boiled down to. Dylan plans to continue archery after school. I feel like after school I'm going to go to the professional leagues and stuff like that, go to competitions, more competitions. Well, I feel like with archery, I'm going to do great things and inspire many people. In life, there are challenges, but there are ways to overcome them like them. The thing that I would tell them is you should always try no matter if you think you can do it or not. If you want to do it, go for it. Dylan and his teammates will be testing their archery skills in an upcoming competition this Saturday. Crime scene tape lift at the scene from Sunday night shooting in South Memphis. Teddy bears put up by Western Park basketball court to honor 24-year-old Vincent Jones. Taryn Phipps didn't really have a happy birthday yesterday. No, my birthday was last night. My cousin died on my birthday. They shot and killed my cousin on my birthday. See? Surveillance video outside the Westwood Community Center called accused killer 19-year-old Thomas Given shooting Jones after trying to rob him. Jada Williams said that Given and her cousin Vincent didn't get along. I know the dude that shot him had been having some feelings towards him for a very long time now. Vincent's family members looked up to him. Kind, loyal, respectful. <laughs> he laughed a lot. He was goofy. He was just fun to be around. They can't believe Jones was killed. It wasn't supposed to happen. You can't move on from this. It happened. Jones' little cousin Orlando Phelps is fearful of coming back to the park after his big cousin was shot. I don't want to be the same. Terrence said that Vincent needs more than just stuffed animals to memorize him. We got the birds and stuff over there, but I feel like we should also have some meals just sitting here for him. They decided to also use spray paint to honor him. Family members said that this bench was his favorite spot, given it's now sitting in 201 Poplar after being charged with attempted first-degree murder. For WMC Action News 5, I'm Brendan Wall.